Hello creatives, welcome to Artist Star. My name is Beth and I'm here at the gallery with a general tarot reading. This is an ongoing Cards of Truth series for the entire 52 card deck. Here is a chart to find your birth card. I've already cleared the cards and spent time meditating on my shooting star spread. I'm using the Cards of Truth deck for the overall starting point and then clarifying with the Ethereal Visions deck. I chose this deck because it has an artist card added into the Major Arcana. I'll close with a message from Spirit with the Soul's Journey lesson cards. If you'd like to know more about today's card, please pause the video and read the description box below. Okay, I'm going to adjust the camera now so that you can see the card spread for today. This is a reading for all two of spades birth cards. This is the shooting star spread. It's a three card spread about unblocking or heightening your creative flow. I like to take cards that spring from the deck while shuffling. That can take a while, so I've already done that and laid out the cards, which allows me to hear the message for you. There's no wrong way to choose cards, it's just what works for me. So the first row here represents your inner and outer resources. It's like the south node position in the Cards of Truth birth chart, easily accessible because it's what you bring with you from a past life. However, there's a possibility it's so easy you take it for granted. The second row is about tapping into what motivates you. Here it's more like the north node position as it will naturally assist you in your soul's full potential. And the last row, the third row, is what Source would like to share as guidance, pure and simple. So let's take a look at the first row for the Two of Spades. I would say right off the bat that you are a high vibration connector. That is what the Two of Spades is all about, connecting and connecting with people and connecting other people. It is the ultimate connector. <laughs> and look what you have. You have the Eight of Hearts. Now, the Eight of Hearts is a very stable, very grounded, very um, knowing your own worth. It's like you don't need validation from anybody to feel this. So as an artist, I can just imagine that you are have realized that the love inside is as important as the love outside of us. That the external things aren't going to be fulfilling and that you start focusing on what is satisfying emotionally for ourselves. It's really a beautiful card to have because you've made this realization. You don't need the validation from other people to know your worth, emotional and otherwise. You are very happy in your creative process. So no doubts there for you, right? It is a true value of self-love. Lovely. And we have the emperor to have in your pocket. Unbelievable, right? I mean, my goodness, if you didn't have all of that self-validation enough, you've got the Emperor, which is uh, the one that gets the process rolling. It is powerful, and it's pre being prepared. Now, I have to say, there's a lot of Aries energy in this reading. The Emperor is the Aries card, and there is the possibility of a Two of Spades as an Aries. So if this resonates with you, then it's probably going to continue to. <laughs> but this is a general reading. So hopefully it'll resonate for a lot of other people as well. So here we have the Two of Wands. This is a really lovely thing too to have as a, um, as in your pocket as a, um, 
resource right there. It just totally skipped my mind because um, the Two of Wands is about focus. It's about decision making. It's planning. It's discovery, right? You can see that he's got his two there and he is strategically planning his next move. And the Four of Swords. Now, this is in reverse, so it's a blocked energy or something that is still in your subconscious. And the Four of Swords is all about um, taking a time out to revisit your last few experiences. It, it relates to such as a a soldier coming home from battle and having that time to contemplate the battle and to understand what you could have done better or differently for um, a different outcome. So as a connector and with all of this inner strength, you understand already the value of that. And I can say that because of this next row in what motivates you. And again, with what Source shares later on. But for now, we've got, from the Cards of Truth, the Five of Diamonds. Now the Five of Diamonds is, again, all about knowing and learning the subtleties about a situation. It's about knowing yourself and what your skills are and what you do best. It's also often discovered by trial and error. You learn your lessons from what does work as well as what doesn't work. So this becomes more clear as we understand the two of spades. I have the two of spades in my Uranus position in my Cards of Truth chart. And that is the position that makes someone unique. And you don't always see it in yourself. It's often seen by other people, more so than you. And for me, it's connecting artists with gallery and having openings and connecting with people there. It's connecting with people's desires and in framing and what they need um, to make their homes comfortable and enjoyable. So it is about connecting and it is about knowing oftentimes through hit and miss what works and learning from what doesn't work in order to have more things work, right? And I have the five of diamonds as my sun card. So I know all about the um, concrete grounded, uh, it can be financial, but it can also be your skills and your talent. So understanding how that all plays with each other. And the more that it's connected, the more you understand and the more comfortable you become in all of those aspects. So this is a really lovely thing for you to have two of spades. And then we have the six of pentacles which you know relates to the diamonds because it also is about intuitiveness and about creativity it's about your talents and psychic powers um, and for the six it's also understanding about sharing you can see how she's got like a, a weighing thing there so a scale to make sure that everybody gets an equal share, right? And he's going to share. You can see the plate here and someone in need. So this is what you do as a two of spades. This is what you do. Beautiful. And that you're motivated by it. I love that too. And apparently you're motivated by hard work because you know how to enjoy the benefits of hard work and rewards for that hard work. Whatever your craft, you really do understand that it all comes through the hands. You're not really 
interested in being validated for it. You know, again, with the hearts up here, you're incredibly comfortable with whatever it is you're doing, totally secure in it. And like this eight of hearts, you don't need validation from anyone to know your worth in your talents and skills as well. Wonderful. Good for you. That's that's saying something as a as an artist. And here you are again with the two of pentacles. Again, making those connections on a monetary value, perhaps, but also understanding that it is a process of skills and talents and having that pay off through the connections that you're making, every connection that you make, whether it's to a person, place, or thing, brings you something that can heighten your creativity. Lovely. And it's doubled down because here you are again in the Two of Diamonds. This is in the Cards of Truth, so the Two of Diamonds there is again about connecting pretty much the same as the tarot, connecting with your talents and skills and being able to create something of value. That is a beautiful thing to have that source is sharing with you that not only are you a two of spades that are a natural connector to whatever is the remedy or the cure for a situation, brilliant, and you also are able to create some sort of stability and groundedness and monetary money from it. You're creating a living. And then you've got the chariot, which is all about I've started to call this card the rodeo card because it's you riding the chariot and it's a bumpy ride, but you are in total control. So whatever you are coming into contact with in your creative world, um, you're handling it. You're not letting anything or anybody shake your foundation and get you beside yourself. You are totally, totally solid in that. Ah, just love it. No validation needed. It's like, nope, can't rock you. <laughs> solid. And again, the Ace of Pentacles. This is again about reaping, reaping rewards and understanding and having a new beginning, um, an abundance happen from all the hard work paying off. Looks like Source is very interested in validating that you are in the right place at the right time more often than not. Because look at this, the artist. You get the artist card in all of this solidness, this feeling and knowing your worth, just beautiful, and not being able to be put off balance by anyone. You do understand that the connections are, are there for a reason. Just love it. The artist card is basically you are the vessel. You are the connecting force to source and you are channeling source into your art. I mean, how does it get any better than that? You just take whatever source has given you and you create something beautiful out of it. Whether it's an up or a down or, you know, a run around the bush, you, you take what you need from it and you leave the rest and you are not distracted, right? Not distracted by human conditions. and But you're also able to listen and put that knowledge into something of value, um, something that other people are connecting with. Beautiful, really. You're a visionary. You interpret the 
creator um, with passion. <laughs> I'm, I'm just so in awe of you. I would love to hear what you do for work. It just must be beautiful what art you make. So, all right, so I end with a final card that Source guides me to by moving my pendulum across the Soul's Journey spread out deck. That can take a while too, so I have done that already as well. And no surprise here, you get the relationship card. <laughs> I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. I mean, did that just not be spoken directly to you? I probably don't even need to say any more, but I am going to put that right here because I know you understand the connection between sharing and feeling that validation. And this relationship card is an interesting one, especially as a two of spades, because you are well aware of the many emotional connections between people. However, it warrants an acknowledgement that it's unhealthy to judge a book by its cover. I'm not saying that you do, but I'm saying that every once in a while we may all be guilty of that because in the art world there is a lot of support from your contemporaries and peers and a lot of jealousy and resentment by them as well. Some come straightforwardly and some come in sheep's clothing. <laughs> We've all experienced this as we navigate through the art world in these human forms. And as a two of spades, you have an innate talent for drawing people to you like a magnet. This is because it's part of your karma to trade experiences and lessons with people who you engage with in order for you both to grow spiritually and thereby heighten your creative skills and unique talents. I know, I've got it too on my Uranus card, the uniqueness planet. So I get it. I so get it beautifully said by this, this relationships card. And you, as a connector, the, this is your birth card, being a connector, understand, and I think here Source is validating that you intuitively know that we are all connected to one another, that there is no chance encounters. So, Right, treat other people with compassion and respect that you yourself would like to be met with. Source would also like to remind you that you are to meet these encounters with open curiosity. Once a lesson is learned, don't be surprised if that person fades away. People are in your life for a reason, or a season, or a lifetime beautiful spread. Happy creating. So creative, stay true to your uniqueness on your creative path. And I hope this gave you some food for thought. Please subscribe and hit that like button. It means a lot to me and my soul and life purpose. Thank you.